cool. All right. Just give me a second. Just give I'll me talk a then. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Chris. Um, I'm a systems engineer with Confluent. I'm Victor. I am a solutions architect with Confluent. So we're gonna be talking today about obviously uh, Ghostbusters. Yeah. Crossing streams. Crossing streams. Who we are. Yeah. So it's my Twitter. You can uh, follow me on Twitter. I'm an interesting person. Yeah, Chris also a very interesting person. So as you can see from this reference, it's more like a enthusiast versus practitioner type of talk. So perfect way to do that. Chris is a practitioner. I'm a enthusiast, I would say. So I'm going to be talking about code, um, and Chris is going to be talking about data and getting results and getting things done. Right, Chris? That's right. Yeah, so, yeah um, the goes yeah, busters. The crossing, crossing the streams metaphor always works well when you're talking about streams. Another metaphor that works with streams is that life doesn't happen in batch mode. There are probably many of you um, uh, read the title and in this video I would like to share some of the thoughts of my current situation. I was thinking about this video for a while and the reasons why I decided to record this um, is actually uh, very much related to uh, to the things what I've done over the uh, past, I would say like two years or so. I was thinking about writing a script and put things in the list and talk through the points and uh, things like that. But in this case, like what, what's, what's, the, what's the point? In this case, it will not be honest. It will not be exactly what I wanted to say. So I decided to just like sit here and talk through these things, uh, what I have in my mind right now and talk directly to, to camera. I work as a uh, solutions architect, and as a solutions architect, I actually have the people and the companies to uh, to work with our software. Um, as you can see right now, I'm uh, at the meetup, meaning that I don't need to my customers so well because our software is still is awesome. So I don't need to do this. So I can fly to the Pittsburgh and uh, do the presentation. So I joined the Confluent four years ago, roughly. I joined as a part of a professional services organization. At that time, I was maybe number four or maybe or number six in uh, worldwide. During that time, like when I was meeting with the customers and I'm seeing those, um, uh, I'm doing this like a lot of travel. I've seen, you know, going some places that I never thought I would ever go and uh, seeing meeting some customers there but i would like to use this i would i wanted to use this opportunity to you know share the broader message so since i'm already here why not go and uh, meet local folks and uh, on a meetup and see how did their life uh, look like so this i i started to scheduling some of the meetups after work when i was uh, meeting with customers and this is how i started to do some of the speaking engagement i would say a friend of mine, Barak Sudagurski, in one of these uh, slide decks that we worked together for DevRelConf once uh, mentioned me as undercover developer advocate, meaning that I still had the title of uh, solutions architect, but the job and the work that I did uh, was also related to a developer advocacy. So that was fun. Hi everyone, welcome back to Ask Confluent, the show where we answer Kafka questions from the internet. And with me today, we have my beloved co-host, uh, Tim Berglund. Hi, Gwen. And we have a special guest. We do. <laughs> Hello, internet. Um, it's Victor, long-time listener, first-time caller. <laughs> So Victor is and yeah. the newest member of Team Steam. That is correct. Uh, developer advocate here at Confluent. Uh, delighted to have Victor on the team. Delighted to be finally on this podcast, guys. <laughs> Sorry, but I have to plug it because I love the show. He's pretty excited. Yes. And you're going to see him all over the world. If you did not yet see him all over the world, you are going to because we're going to be basically be sending him to speak. Fast forward a year after. I was able to show some of the people that uh, I will be also a very good asset in the developer experience team. And uh, I was able to make this transition and I'm extremely grateful for both parties and the uh, um, parties who were in charge of professional services and party who were in charge of the uh, product that time. 
uh, to make this uh, transition happen. So I started doing my uh, job as officially a developer advocate. At that time, it was just like uh, me and Robin, uh, Robin Moffat as my friend and uh, also fellow YouTuber. Uh, go to check some his uh, his channel for awesome Kafka content. And the time, uh, Tim Berland, he was running the team. He was also the coach who was uh, playing on the field. He was also doing some of the um, individual contributor stuff. Since that time, everything changed you know we started meeting other people i was traveled the world i even i even went to australia it was super excited and i'm saying hi to my friends uh, down there uh, chris guru joe i uh, miss you guys everything was great company was growing we were hitting our first uh, 500 people who joined the company like a two years after and after that um, over a thousand people were on the board on the ship and we went to um, all company kickoff and uh, all hands in the boat and we thought yeah that was great and um, it's gonna be awesome 2020 it's gonna be fantastic year. we're gonna crush it and we didn't <laughs> until we didn't no we still crush this and like and i will talk about this in a moment but 2020 put enormous and incredibly hard corrections to the world of IT and to the world in general, not only the world of IT. There was a uh, long running joke in the overall community, or maybe not even joke, but uh, some people were asking, okay, will we be um, able to do the same job as we do if we don't need to travel? Hi, 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 hello, hello and welcome uh, to this episode of uh, live streams. Um, you got me on, uh, you got me on my guitar improvisation. Welcome, welcome to this uh, special episode of live streams. Uh, my name is, uh, as always, uh, Victor Gamov, and I'm developer advocate here at Confluent. And today, as you see, we have uh, some special episodes. Um, some special episodes uh, of uh, live streams. Welcome to uh, my 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 virtual studio, where we're going to be talking about maybe music, maybe uh, maybe streams. Um, my name is Victor Gamov, usually, but today you can call me Bruce. You can call me Bruce Spring Streams. How we're going to be doing DevRel? Which going to be proportion? Uh, which needs to be online? Which needs to be in person? And guess what? In 2020, we do it exclusively online and we get to be somewhat how good, somehow bad, but uh, we made it, we made it through it. I developed a digital muscle that I never thought I have and uh, live streams and all this uh, geeking out with cameras and geeking out with all these technologies and uh, stuff like that was an um, incredibly uh, interesting journey to do. And uh, during this time, the some of the other online content and some of the online adventures came into play. Uh, we launched the Confluent Developer Portal. This is the place where you start your, your, your journey with Kafka, with cloud, with stream processing. This is the place where you want to be all possible languages, technologies, you name it, it's it's there. And which brings us to 2021. Uh, still a very successful year in the company history. But uh, for me, I found that uh, sometimes in life and sometimes in um, in professional career, we get uh, too comfortable with something. Maybe it's time to, to move on. So that's why I'm moving on. I uh, live in the company, um, Confluent, uh, this week. Uh, this week is my last week in the company. What does it mean for community? So during this time on Confluent, I was super honored to be part of this uh, ever-growing uh, community of uh, developers, architects, uh, system administrators, all sorts of sizes. And uh, I was super excited to be the part of this community, which means that I don't want to go away from this community, right? The community is awesome. Kafka Summit is coming. Kafka Summit is uh, going to be virtual this year. All these events will be virtual, but I'm sure 
we're gonna get back soon and uh, I will be there as well hopefully I like this this community I help to not only bootstrap some of the international and uh, English speaking community but also I running a Russian speaking community also um, I am uh, part of uh, co-authors group uh, who are working on finishing Apache Kafka in action book for Manning. So stay tuned for some of the announcements there. This is something that you cannot just uh, easily give up and uh, I will try to be around the community and uh, still answering the question and contributing some of the materials around this, maybe in my next um, <laughs> reincarnation. What's gonna be next for me? For now, I just want to take some time off and uh, spend some time with my family and uh, we'll see uh, what's going to be next. By the way, um, you can write down in the comments. Let's do this experiment. Uh, write down in the comments uh, where you think I should go. So that's, um, that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to share. I want to say thanks for many people who I met during my time in the Confluence, during my time in the Kafka community. Gwen Shapira, she was incredible and very inspiring, uh, probably one of the first presentations I saw in person. We were talking about this and I think it was some conference in Philadelphia four years ago. I call Noel, I learned a very cool metaphor that I never forget about differences between event time and processing time and uh, how he used a Star Wars to explain this metaphor. Robin Moffat, his uh, work in the community is incredible things what he's doing there with uh, all these hacks and tricks that's that's super cool my boss tim berland he taught me pretty much everything that i know about video or maybe a little bit more Greenflow. we're talking about apache kafka 2.3 and this is what kind of right, location we we're shooting we're today tim mentioned some it was great tour uh, and uh, i'm lucky that uh, we were able to work uh, together many people at confluent and many people in community thank you and with this my name is victor gamov and as always have a nice day